Hi everybody, Molly Tigger here, and I'm here tonight um, sharing a couple of projects I made. Um, a friend of mine asked uh, if I could make some little favors. When she makes a dinner, she likes to put a little gift on each plate or near each plate. Um, so uh, I told her I'll make several different samples, and you know she can let me know. I said, of course they can't. I'm not going to duplicate them. They will all be different, you know, with paper and everything. But at least she gets to see what they would look like. Well, um, here's the first one, and I actually jumped on the bandwagon too. Um, Bona shared this tutorial, and I just fell in love with it. And I thought it was going to be difficult. I'm one of those people, as you all know, everybody could say how easy something, and as soon as I hear that word easy, I cringe, because easy means difficult to me. <laughs> but this actually was pretty easy, and um, I did this. This is uh, from Recollections, this paper, and this is also a Recollections um, sticker. It's a felt sticker. Those ones that just came on, it was only one. The ones I said in my last video that my neighbor actually bought me last year, a whole bunch. I guess she got them for like 10 cents each. Um, this here I actually took off of um, uh, a poinsettia artificial flower thing that I had. And back here is a, a snowflake that my friend cut out for me. And then I just hot glued um, this here. I started to make a hole and then I thought, I don't know about that. So I hot glued it. So this is an ornament and um, I really like it. So, and whatever she doesn't like, I said to my daughter, we can use for my grandson's daycare teachers and my granddaughter's daycare teachers. So, and, and plus I need little gifts too. Then I had these little champagne bottles uh, when my daughter got married and I had some left. So um, I thought, oh, I could fill them with those starlight mints. And then I just put some of the paper on there and I just embellished it. You know, this is a, a foam or felt sticker thing and I put lace. And you actually take the candy out from the bottom. This screws off. So I did this also. Let's see if I can. And then this I made. Now, this first I happen to have I had a little thing of four bottles of wine left. And I did the label on it. And then I was looking for something. I didn't want to put it in a bag. I, I didn't know how that would look. So I was searching and searching on the YouTube channel and I came across this video for these uh they're called long fold, long fold flat gift boxes. And so it fit the bottle perfect. So any of you that buy those little mini wine bottles, that will fit this perfectly. And I did this. Now this is again a sample one. This really needs to be made with a stiffer cardstock. This was just uh, that Astro Bright. I think it's like 65 pounds. Uh, this here is from Recollections. These are banned and they're supposed to fold flat. Um, I wrote everything down and did like a template. Um, I could put the link to the tutorial for this, but um, I could try if you want. I'm not, I've never done a tutorial, but I did write everything down and uh, used the template. So um, I also made this. So that's my three things, and I'm working on two more. I want to do, I seen a video on um, the mason jar, the Sizzix mason jar used as um, an ornament. So I'm going to try to make one up of that, and um, I have a couple of questions, uh, as usual, but I might as well get them in while I do these uh, shares. Um, I have a couple of questions. My next thing I want to make is, um, you know, a set of the 3x3 three three cards. Now, I've seen everybody make those pizza boxes. I was wondering, do the cards fit in there, and how many fit in there, or um, is there a nice box to make I think I've seen some tutorials. I think Bona actually has been doing some on that envelope maker for boxes. I just wanted to know how many cards. I don't want to give like two or three cards. I'd like to do either four or six. Um, so if somebody could point me in that direction um, and let me know um, what boxes will fit nicely with some of those cards. The other question I have is... Um, about uh, glitter. When people are using glitter on things, you know, with the glue and then the glitter, 
Um, do you ever seal it or can you seal it with the glossy accents or will that brush it off too? Um, I just was watching a beautiful um, creation. Uh, I can't think. I think it might have been Gloria on Crafty Cake 7. She did, I believe it's her, um, she did a frame. And she did it all like in glitter and it really was beautiful. But I was just wondering, because I know sometimes when you touch the things, um, the glitter gets all over the place. So I don't know, do you seal it? Uh, the other question I have is, how do you make a stand for the pictures? You know, like sometimes the picture frames have the stand in the back. I think there was a tutorial, but I don't know where it is or who did it. So if anybody could point me in the direction with these answers or uh, tutorials, I'd appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night.